Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Ethereum is experiencing a healthy bounce back to the upside. In just a moment, I'll be talking about whether or not this bounce will continue into a further recovery, or if we're due to have another pullback to the downside. I'll also be covering other important Ethereum charts later in this video, and I'll be talking about the altcoin season that is still playing out. So definitely make sure you're watching all the way to the end of this video so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. And just before we jump into it, make sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. But with all of that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about. So right here, what in the Ethereum to your solar charts on the two hour time frame, And what we can see here is obviously the strong bounce back to the upside after we saw that huge crash just the other day. And there's a couple major reasons why Ethereum is looking so strong right now. One of the big reasons is the huge breakouts on the Ethereum versus Bitcoin charts, but I will be covering that later in the video. For now, we should talk about whether or not Ethereum is due for a continued recovery back to the upside or if Ethereum is about to roll over here and form another low on the charts. And for those that follow me over on my Twitter, you would already know about this, but around nine hours ago from now, I tweeted out this message right here saying that it's usually at this point. And once again, at that point, that was around nine hours ago. But yeah, I said at that point, after we see the first bounce after the crash, that's when usually a lot of people start thinking we're about to immediately recover back to the all time high. But in reality, this bounce back to the upside just here is only an automatic reaction after the dump. And Ethereum, alongside pretty much the rest of the crypto market, needs a little bit more time to stabilize before we can continue recovering back towards the upside. And once again, this is on the two hour time frame. So measuring out around nine hours ago, that was on this exact candle right there. And what I mean by the markets still need time to stabilize, I'm basically saying that this bounce right here is not going to carry through all the way to the all time high all in one go. We will reach a point. In fact, this could be the point right here where eventually the price will come back to the downside again, but not necessarily back towards these lows. Predicting where the next low will come into play is extremely difficult, almost impossible. But let's just say if Ethereum turns around from here back to the downside in the shorter term, bringing out the Fibonacci retracement tool, we do have the 38.2% Fibonacci level coming in at around 3960. And that's the second most important Fibonacci level. And anything lower than that, we've got the golden pocket coming in at around 3.8k. So those could possibly be two areas of interest for Ethereum that could be providing major supports to the downside if Ethereum does roll over again from here. But in regards to another dip all the way back down towards this weak low, honestly, I don't see that happening, at least in the immediate short term. So yeah, all I'm saying is just don't expect an immediate recovery back to the all time high. We have to stay realistic. And the most likely scenario from where we are right now is another short term turnaround in the price action sometime soon to continue out a little bit more of a consolidation range before then we'll eventually decide the next move for Ethereum. But zooming out to the daily time frame for Ethereum and what is absolutely remarkable is the fact that yesterday's daily candle closed all the way back above this point of support, which by the way, this point of support just here is the 38.2% Fibonacci level. When you bring it out the Fibonacci retracement tool from the September low up to the all time high, and that level just there is coming in just above 4,000 US dollars. And so if you're looking at the daily candle closes as a confirmation of a break of an important level, then technically speaking on the daily time frame, we never confirmed a break below 4,000 US dollars. So we also have that strong level of support just there in the immediate short term talking about 4,000. And we also have the 120 day simple moving average coming in at around 3750. And that was simply the moving average that we bottomed out at during the September correction. So those are pretty much all of the major support levels in the immediate short term that I am paying attention to for Ethereum. And looking on this chart just here, this is still the daily time frame for Ethereum. But as you can see, we have formed a huge bullish divergence on the daily chart, making lower lows in the price action, but higher lows in the RSI. So as the name suggests, this bullish divergence is obviously a bullish signal for Ethereum. And it basically means that we are due for reduced selling pressure in the immediate short term, which means the coming price action over the next few days, possibly even over the next few weeks is most likely about to be a sideways consolidation range of some sort, or perhaps a slight short term trend back to the upside. But a bullish divergence by itself doesn't necessarily confirm a recovery. Once again, it just means reduced selling pressure in the shorter term. But one thing to look out in the daily RSI for Ethereum is the fact that the RSI is close to the middle of the RSI band, meaning that we have around an equal amount of room to the downside as we do to the upside. So unlike Bitcoin, where the RSI is already sitting close to oversold territories and the downside price action is very limited for Bitcoin at the moment, technically speaking for Ethereum, we do have a little bit more room to the downside later on, quite possibly after this bullish divergence plays out over the next few days or so, but only time will tell. Now getting into one of the major reasons why Ethereum has been very strong, and that is the altcoin season that is happening right now. Yes, an altcoin season is technically playing out because we are trending to the downside in the Bitcoin dominance. And yeah, by the way, this is the Bitcoin dominance 
dominance charts on the daily time frame. And for the beginners out there, if the Bitcoin dominance trends to the downside, that means the altcoins are doing better than Bitcoin just on average. But when the Bitcoin dominance is trending back to the upside, that means Bitcoin is stealing market share back away from the altcoins. So Bitcoin is doing better than the altcoins just on average. And over the past seven weeks, the altcoins have been doing very well against Bitcoin, especially Ethereum just recently. But one thing to look out for is of course, the Bitcoin dominance is running into a major level of horizontal supports coming in close to 40% dominance. So it is a strong possibility that we could see a bounce from that level. And if we do see a bounce in the Bitcoin dominance from that support level just there, then in that case, that is when the altcoins are going to start losing more value than Bitcoin. Or if things start trending back to the upside, Bitcoin will be seeing bigger gains. So basically, Bitcoin will be doing better, obviously, if the Bitcoin dominance is bouncing back to the upside. So that is one thing to look out for right now. But if the Bitcoin dominance can just push below 39%, then that would mean we're forming a brand new lower low on the chart, breaking major supports. And in that case, we could see a continuation of the altcoin season, meaning that Ethereum and a lot of other altcoins are most likely going to be doing better than Bitcoin. But remember, that's only if we break this support. So really, we are entering into a deciding moment right now for the Bitcoin dominance. And of course, that is also important when it comes to the Ethereum versus Bitcoin charts. This is the daily time frame, And you can see that Ethereum has already experienced a major breakout to the upside when valued against Bitcoin. And I was letting you know about this breakout to the upside even before we broke out to the upside. And as of right now, we have seen two successful confirmations of this breakout to the upside. The first one being the successful retest of this previous point of resistance, flipping it into new support, as you can see, and also seeing a huge spike in volume as we're breaking out here. And the technical price target for this pattern for this breakout to the upside is coming in towards 0.1 Bitcoin per Ethereum, which from where we are right now to that price target is around a 20% gain approximately. But keep in mind, it is unlikely we'll go there in a straight line. So if we begin to see short term pullbacks on this chart, that is perfectly normal. And that price target only gets invalidated if either we hit the price target or if we break back below this importance line just here coming in at around 0.077 Bitcoin per Ethereum. And so the reason why Ethereum has been performing relatively well in this crash and bounce back to the upside compared to at least what Bitcoin is doing, it's simply because of this Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart that I have been covering for quite a while now on the channel. And don't forget, if you want to stay up to date in the markets at all times with these real time updates throughout the day, make sure you follow me over on my Twitter and the link to my Twitter is in the description down below and also in the pinned comments. And just as I'm finishing recording this video, Ethereum is continuing that pullback in the immediate short term as I discussed earlier in this video and as I warned you about nine hours ago over on my Twitter. If you enjoyed this video or got something valuable out of it, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so that you're not missing out on any of these future update videos that I post every single day. Before clicking off, especially for the new viewers on the channel, make sure you're checking out one of these uploads if you haven't already. And as always, I really do appreciate all of your support in the channel at the moment. I can't thank you guys enough. But anyway, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.